Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everyone's doing well. Guys, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And in today's video, I'm going to cover having a feeling that you're that you have no purpose in life, feeling that there's no meaning. And if you're going through this, I really under you know I understand your situation. It it feels kind of sad. It feels empty. It feels like you're lost. And the thing is, I'm sure your story has been like many others. You know, you're told, you know, in life you have to, you know, graduate from high school, go to college, get a good job, and possess material things, a home, a car, go on vacation, you know, have children. And these things, even though they're not bad, and it's not bad having wanting to have them either, that doesn't bring us true joy and happiness. And that's another thing as well, you know, many people... They associated having a feeling as having some sort of meaning, you know, attributing it to to having a meaning. And truth is, you want to find contentment. Of course, you do want to be in a comfortable place. You know, there's nothing. Of course, I find that as a necessity. So, one of the things I want to go ahead and keep in mind is that that I myself, and I'm sure many of you others, have found life's purpose through serving others through being helpful to others and you might think you know that's something that you can only do materially no not not at all i mean the thing is serving others not just through your time and efforts or or your money but you know being a friend being supportive you know trying to help others in whichever facet you can whichever way you can so it doesn't have to necessarily be so you know one certain way uh, so one of the things I've found that over time, and you have to be patient as well because it does take time before you can answer that question. You know, what's my purpose in life? What's what meaning does it have? You know, it's going to take time, and do keep that in mind that it take you're going to have to be patient, and in time it'll become more and more clear. It's a process. I, that's how I see it. At least that's where I'm going through as well. One of the things I want to go uh, go ahead and also mention as well is if you believe in God, you know, I understand. You know, if you don't, that's fine. You know, I notice is doing good deeds many times is is helping God. You know, you're serving God through good deeds. So do keep that in mind. Also, I want to go ahead and keep in mind as well, you know, because sometimes we're known by many people and you know what kind of legacy are we going to live behind you know what how are we going to you know how are we going to be remembered when our time is up on this rock and and life is over you know do you want to be known as a person who did good or a person you know who just went through the motions you know all they cared about was acquiring material possessions acquiring money do you want to be known as that person because i really don't i'd rather be known as somebody who did good deeds tried to be the best person he could and even though there was that he had faults he still tried you know that's how i'd like to be remembered so guys i want to go ahead and keep it that way thank you so much for your time again and i'll see you in the next video